Hey guys, you're watching Black Pen, Red Pen. Okay, if you're watching this video, you're in luck because I'll show you how to make $4,700 from zero. You don't believe me, huh? Just watch. And don't forget, Christmas is coming, so you can use the money for your Christmas vacation. Sounds good, right? So here we go. First of all, I start with zero dollars, right? So I have no money right now. Let me just put down zero right here. And then the idea is this. Zero is the same as a zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. And then just write this down right here. This is just like, okay, I don't want to work in my life, things like that. And when I don't want to do any work, no, I will just have zero dollars every single day. And let me just put this down as a dot, 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 meaning that this right here will keep going on forever. Zero is equal to zero plus zero plus zero and then so on forever, okay? It's like I will never work in my life. I will have zero dollars. Anyway, this is how we can get the money. Let's look at the zero. And then we talk about it, we want to have $4,700, right? So you see, this zero, it's the same as following. I can write down 4,700, but in the meantime, as long as I minus 4,700, hey, this is the same as zero, isn't it? And now I will do the same for the next. This zero, I will also write it down as 4,700 minus 4,700, and then I will do the same for the next one. This zero is the same as 4,700 minus 4,700, and then this one as well, 4,700 minus 4,700. And by the way, how many of this do we have? Because of the dot dot dot. This means we have infinite amount of these things, okay? Okay, now, here is the idea. So what's going on right here? You can just imagine the following. I have a friend, all right? His name is Paul. And I'm going to ask him for $4,700. So the past means I got it from him. But because I'm a good person, I will have to pay him back. That's why I will have the minus 4,700, all right? And likewise, this guy, I have another friend, Peter, for example, right? So once again, I can ask him for $4,700, so that's positive from, from my point of view, and then I will have to pay him back. So I will minus $4,700. And of course, you see, this one added to zero, this one added to zero. I don't owe Paul anything. I don't owe Peter anything, likewise, okay? And this will keep on going forever because I put on dot, dot, dot. So far, so good, right? And now this is the strategy on how we can actually get the $4,700. First of all, let me just take out all the parentheses, okay? So this right here is still 4,700 minus 4,700 and then plus 4,700 minus 4,700 plus 4,700 minus 4,700 plus 4,700 minus 4,700 and then plus dot, dot, dot. Once again, pay attention to the da 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 because this process will keep on going forever, all right? Now, here's the deal. Once again, this right here is from what? Paul, the first guy, right? I asked him for $4,700. I will have to pay him back. Now, here is the deal. When I got the $4,700 from him, well, I'm not going to use the money, all right? I'm not going to use the money to pay him back. I'm going to save it right here, $4,700, all right? So I will have the money. Well, I owe him $4,700, isn't it? This is what I'll do. I will go to Peter, that was the second guy. I will ask him for $4,700 again. And I'll use Peter's money, the $4,700, to pay back Paul. And now you see, this and that will cancel each other out. This right here will produce zero, right? Well, yes, I owe Peter $4,700 now. So what do I do? I go to the next friend, Payam. I will ask him for $4,700. I'll use the money to pay back Peter. So this and that will cancel to be zero. And this process will keep on going forever, all right? So I owe Payam $4,700 now. I will go to the next friend, Carol. I will use her money to pay back Payan. So this and that will cancel out. And likewise, this and that will cancel out because I can keep asking for infinite amount of friends. Right? That's the secret. We must have infinite amount of friends in order for this to work. That's why I put on a dot, dot, dot. I did not stop at all. I'm a hardworking person. I will keep finding friends so that they can lend me the $4,700. So notice right here, this is all zero now, but don't forget, I have that $47 
$4,700 in my pocket. Aha! This right here is that $4,700 that I got. Check this out. I began with, I began with zero. I end up with $4,700. How wonderful. And that's it. Okay, this video is of course not done yet because I know if I just stop right here, it will cost a lot of arguments. And especially I have a lot of videos that cost a lot of arguments already, such as the one that I make. Um, there's only one third of the past the whole numbers are even. You can check that out if you haven't. But anyway, I'm going to make some explanation right here. Of course, zero is definitely not equal to $4,700. Unfortunately, I will have to disappoint you you guys, this doesn't work for a couple reasons. First reason is that I don't think I can find anyone who is willing to lend me $4,700 in the first place. But anyway. The second thing is that I don't have infinite amount of friends, all right? And by the way, this is a saying that this is exactly the idea of robbing Peter to pay Paul. But anyway, so what went wrong here? You see the first equation, that when I put down 0, it's equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0, infinite amount of time. Or you see the second one, when I write down 0, it's equal to 4700 minus 4700 and plus 4700 and so on, so on, so on, so on. And this one, this one is pretty much the same thing because I just took out the parentheses. But then once I cancel things out, you see that at the end, I'm saying 0 is equal to 4700. Hmm. So what's the deal? What went wrong? Well, this right here, it's actually not allowed it, right? The first one is okay. You can say 0 plus 0 plus 0, infinite amount of times, it's equal to 0. That's good. The second one is kind of debatable, right? As long as you have the parentheses around it as how it is, this is actually still legit, I will tell you. This right here, it's still equal to 0. However, the moment that we took out the parentheses, the third line right here, it's no longer hold, right? It doesn't hold anymore. And let me just tell you guys why. And now here is just some explanation. But before I do that, I will just tell you guys this right here is false, okay? So I will cross this out right here. And I'm going to leave it this right here because this will make me really happy if I don't need to do any work and I can get $4,700 out of nowhere. That would be wonderful, right? But anyway, here is some notes. If I just have 4700 minus 4700, if this right here stops, right? This right here is equal to zero. This right here is correct, okay? However, the moment I wrote this down, plus dot 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 you see this right here it matters because this means that this right here will keep on going to infinity this right here if i say it's equal to zero this is actually wrong let me just put down false right here right and some of you guys may be saying hey yes i have the 4700 right here and somewhere here i will have a minus 4700 this minus 4700 will cancel out with that 4700 however this negative 4700, I could ask for the next friend to borrow the money from him to pay that person back, right? So do not just say, I have another negative 4700. This right here, no. That states, I can find another 47 to cancel that out, right? So the trouble is, seriously, when you have this kind of things, when this goes to infinity, this right here, I don't have the right to say it's equal to zero. This is a false statement. And this might not be easy to see, and now let me just go over this with you guys. So let's look at this series, right? This is an infinite series, but what kind? Well, this is the first term, 4700, and this is the second term, negative 4700. So what happens? Well, from here to here, we can just multiply by negative one, right? Okay, from the second term to the third term, once again, I can just multiply by negative one. And likewise, this is the pattern. We multiply by negative 1 to get the next term. That's a common ratio. And indeed, this is a geometric series. It's an infinite geometric series. And I will just demonstrate this by putting this down with the sigma notation. This is the same as saying the sum when n goes from 1. And usually, you can start with 1 or 0, up to you. But let me use 1 right here. 1 to infinity, because I have the dot, dot, dot. 
and we put down the first term, which is 4700, times the common ratio, which is negative 1, and raised to the m minus 1 power, because I used n star with 1 right here, all right? So, look at the sigma notation form. This is the infinite geometry series. What's the common ratio? It's right here, right? r is equal to negative 1. And we know that if we take the absolute value of this right here, we get positive 1. Okay, when we have an infinite geometry series, it will only converge if the absolute value of r is less than 1. But in this case, unfortunately, the absolute value of r is exactly equal to 1. Therefore, this right here is a divergent, it's a divergent infinite geometry series. So let me write this down right here. This infinite geometry series diverges. Factorial factorial, not just kidding. But anyway, when we have divergent series, I cannot say this is equal to whatever because if I do, then a lot of weird things can happen like this. Okay? So once again, this is the idea of dealing with the infinite geometry series. If it diverges, you have to stop. And you can check out my previous video on how to handle when we have an infinite geometry series that actually converges. And you can also utilize the best friend, right? But anyway, now I will come back to this right here and just, just say a few more words about this. So why did I cross this out? Because as I said, this is arguable, right? Because some people may write this down as the following. The sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, and they will just write this as the first term, which you can actually do that, right? You can actually put that as parentheses 4700 minus 4700, and some people will argue that, hey, we should work this inside out. Namely, this will be 0, so now this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 0. In this case, yes, I will agree to a certain degree that this right here is equal to 0, but we must make sure that we have to maintain these parentheses. We cannot just take out the parentheses from here, otherwise we'll end up with this situation right here, alright? So the deal is that, it's like, when you ask the money from Paul, you must use his money to pay him back right away, which is redundant, but that's just how it is, okay? But anyway, um, some of you guys may think like, okay, this is pretty magical because, you know, we end up with zero is equal to $4,700. That's seriously like how magic works, right? Even though you know something's false. As long as you know how to present it in a beautiful way, such as this, you can make people believe whatever you want them to, to believe, right? So the idea right here is that when you are dealing with an infinite geometry series, if it diverges, you know, we cannot draw any conclusion, and you have to be super careful whenever you are trying to deal with an infinite series in general. As a challenge for you guys, Right here, I only showed you how to get $4,700 from zero. Can you guys come up with an argument that I start with zero and I end up with infinity? Anyway, leave a comment down below and let us know. And at the moment, this is it.